Sometimes the best tools are the tools that we already have. So for this week's video, I experimented a little bit with uh, Ableton Live's Wavetable Synthesizer. And yeah, I want to take you on a little journey, a jam kind of session where I experimented with the uh, Wavetable Synth from Ableton that you also have if you have Ableton Live Suite. It's a great synth in my opinion, ver very versatile and we go and create some kind of background effects, maybe percussive kind of thing, whatever you want to call it, it's difficult to, to describe it, but uh, yeah, have a listen, you will hear the sound that we are going to create in a minute, but before we start, I quickly want to mention myself, but snappy, raw minimal, Ibton Live kick template, it's a highly adjustable kick template, as it says, right? That you can just drag and drop into your Ableton session and then you can make your own kicks out of it right so it really fits your tracks needs uh, you can make it punchy make it long make it soft um, make add a key click if you want you can do whatever you want with it and uh, yeah it's for free you can download it on the link or also in the video up here should be the link totally for free you and yes if you want to join it click the link and thanks for watching now let's jump over to this little jam session hope you like it but first let's have a listen to the end result and uh, yeah let's go and jam out some stuff hopefully you get inspired see you in Ableton cheers Alright, for this week's video, I want to take you through the process a little bit of how to create some effects that you can hear from this track here, from this little loop. So yeah, this is basically the end result. So yeah, let's jump right in. Let's start out a little bit cheesy here. Um, I used uh, or doubled around a little bit, um, explored a little bit with um, the wavetable synth from Ableton Live stock synth, right? So yeah, let's explore this a little bit together and uh, make kind of a jam session and you can just watch and hopefully get inspired a little bit. So yeah, let's start. So what I'm doing here is basically I just um, played some notes with my MIDI keyboard here and some random stuff, you know, and then I just let it play. And one thing that I discovered is to really, um, <coughs> yeah, keep the amp short, the envelopes short um, for some quirky sounds and uh, yeah. Also, I like to use the matrix from this uh, wavetable. It looks a little bit uh, complicated at first glance, but it's really simple if you just um, take a, a few minutes to to think and really um, study that uh, little wavetable a little bit. Um, if you want more in-depth stuff, maybe you look up YouTube. I'm sure you could find something or um, yeah, I could do a follow up video if you want to that uh, explains a little bit more about all the functionalities of this uh, great synth in my opinion. So yeah, what I like to do is using LFO and assign it to different parameters like amp pitch, oscillators and uh, yeah, all kind of stuff and also dabbling around with the LFO speed and waveforms and especially the the waveforms of the oscillators right those are uh, wavetables
just testing a little bit, exploring. Um, right now, it doesn't really sound too so impressive right now, but um, yeah, bear with me. You heard hopefully the end result. So yeah, there's a more to come. still pl play those um, random notes that I played with the keyboard, with the MIDI keyboard. Now let's see what happens. If you just dial some buttons here, maybe it envelopes. Assigning them to different parameters inside the matrix. <laughs> maybe pitch. Also playing with the filter can do a lot to the sound um, during the process I found sometimes it sounds a little, little bit too digital but um, adding some effects will really polish the sound make it interesting so yeah let's experiment a little bit with the LFO here Just with those sounds and dials, we already get some interesting sounds, I would say. I think it could be usable, you know. Um, but what I like to do is uh, record them to an audio channel, then pitching them down and then processing them further, you know. We do that a little bit later. Let's keep experimenting a little bit. One thing that I really like is about this wavetable that it has different, as it says, wavetables, right? And we have noise, we have basic, we have bit crush, whatever. Uh, there are lots of things to discover, to explore. FM, um, yeah, just um, go through some of them and we can maybe make some talking kind of sync, you know? Let's try to spice shit up a little bit with some effects maybe. I like to use echo sometimes with some very short um, yeah, reverb times. So let's see. Yeah, that sounds interesting to me. So 
if we just keep the rate a little bit um, faster to the LFO of the LFO and to assign to the pitch Do some referencing, no, not referencing, but let's um, check with with some context sounds. You know, makes more fun, right? work is some kind of texture thing right with the echo maybe I would blast the Tantra behind it to make some kind of sequence sequence noisy sound texture whatever but let's keep experimenting a little bit with uh, with this little synth here Try out some effects here, Ranger, maybe a frequency shifter afterwards, make some interesting sounds maybe. This almost sounds like a vocoder sound, like a talking kind of sound maybe. Now with this Ricochet, I don't know how to spell it exactly, but uh, it's a freeware tool from Audio Damage.
right, so as I just mentioned before, I simply record uh, stuff and then I pitch it down maybe, um, experimenting a little bit with those um, grain sizes or um, um, yeah, sample settings inside the clip. add some texture sounds here this is a sound that I created um, yeah a while ago let's find some other drums maybe and also spicing up the drums a little bit can really hear the, the sound in context from the wavetable. See, I like to use chorus sometimes on the drums. Let's add another drum loop here and spice it up with the chorus a little bit. Just to show you how it could work in the context, you know. Let's add a little bit reverb maybe to the drums. Just vibing here a little bit, <laughs> just got some ideas flowing. One cool thing I like about Ableton is you can really assign almost everything to an LFO and it's very easy to do so, right? So I just added uh, a reverb to the send return channel and now I'm assigning the send to that reverb with an LFO so it triggers it once in a while, some randomly, you know and uh, setting the minimum and maximum send yeah and that's basically the whole thing you know um, I run this wavetable stuff really in the background the chorus on the drums do a lot to this little loop here but if you want to um, know more about how this loop was created, yeah, let me know in the comment section. Also, if you come up with some cool stuff from uh, or with Wavetable from Ableton, let me know what tips and tricks you have, maybe to, if you want to share it. And yeah, really, I would encourage you to just dial just pull up this wavetable and really go nuts experimenting with this shit because um, yeah because I think uh, sometimes the best tools are the ones that we already have you know and sometimes limitation can enhance creativity you know uh, yeah why not use the tools that you already have in your toolbox inside Ableton Live 
um yeah have fun experimenting thanks for watching thanks for your time hope this was inspiring cheers bye bye